Greetings, fellow Earthlings. <laughs> okay, today I'm going to make a video that has to do with the myths about bisexuality and pansexuality. I've written down all the things that I've been hearing over the last months, weeks, years. I'm here to tell you that most of them are bullshit. You can't be bisexual and pansexual. Well, I think that's false. Um, it's such a similar thing. The moment you are non-monosexual, you are probably either one or the other or both you know <laughs> like what's the big deal it's it's a big of it's you know definitely not mutually exclusive it's a big mishmash and people are you know a bit of this and a bit of that all together in one giant melting pot i mean who cares that much bisexuals are greedy I think this is a really bizarre thing. Just because you're able to fall in love with more than one gender does not make you greedy. Just because you're a non-monosexual does not mean you want, you know, every single candy in the candy store. It just means that you like more of the flavors. So what? So it's, uh, it's, it's lost on me. Bisexuals are cheaters. I don't understand what attraction has to do with cheating. And there's also this idea that you will end up going to the other side or something like that. If that was the case, then, then you were probably dating someone that was maybe transitioning or something like that. But in general, if you are truly a bisexual or a pansexual, you're not switching all the time from side to side. You decided you're open, so then you are open to both, and then you fall in love with someone, and whether it's one or the other or something else or whatever, you make it work while well, you do the best you can, like we all try. Um. Yeah, so the one that they will potentially leave you because you don't have the right bits. I've heard this a lot. I've heard this from women and men. So men are not as worried on my side, I don't know, because they think, well, I've got the penis, I'm going to be fine. Um, and then women think, well, I don't have a penis, so how am I going to survive? And probably for a male pansexual or bisexual, it's a similar story because... The man's like, I've only got one hole, and the women's like, oh, but I don't have a penis. See, it's, it doesn't matter. I mean, if they cared so much, then they wouldn't be with you, would they? There you go. Bisexual means two, because it's bi. And so bi equals binary, and therefore it's men and women. It's not true. If you look at bisexual, it's defined as the attraction to two or more genders. So this is also something that in the beginning of pansexuality, there's a lot of trouble because you want to show the difference to someone who's completely monosexual. So there's a lot of friction there because... You know, a lot of people say, yeah, well, I am pansexual because I also love um, intersex and transsexuals. And the thing is, for example, with transsexual, some people like to be called transsexual, some people don't. Some people, you can see they're truly men and women, and it just gets very complicated because basically it's, it's very similar. It's a very small difference. One means attraction to two or more genders and the other means attraction irregardless of gender but at the end of the day they're just both non-monosexuals so potato potato but i still prefer pansexual so you can call me you know retarded if you like but i don't know that's, that's, that's me pansexuals love pans 
mon chéri. Je t'aime, j'adore. Oh, right. Moving on.